welcome to another cup it and a chat. Um, I've got to tell you what I'm drinking today. It sounds a little unusual, but uh, my friend said to me she'd been drinking this tea and it was really great. And I said, can I drink it with milk? She said yes, and I said I'll try it. I'm not a big fan of herbal teas. And it's um, actually dandelion tea, dandelion root tea and it sounds a bit strange but it's really really nice and I actually think I'm getting a bit addicted to it but in a good sense because it doesn't have any caffeine it's very nice um, this morning I did a little weaving workshop for our homeschool group for about 40 to 50 kids age 2 to 16 so I had a, a big age range but it was really interesting what we did was we made a loom for each child out of cardboard and maybe slots with it and used a nice colorful paddle pop stick to for them to weave with and I was really surprised and very pleased with how readily they took to it and how interested they were which is great so some of them have said that they would like me to do a video on um, not just how to make one of these but how to actually take it off the loom and so I'll try and do that at some point and then maybe your kids would be interested too in doing some simple weaving where you can make your own loom these are a couple that my girls made today They're pretty cute so yeah I was really happy with that but I've got to share with you my most exciting news I got an email yesterday I think I told you in the last cuppa and chat that I had entered a show um, entered a scarf in the Melbourne show, a woven scarf, and the email yesterday said that I had one best exhibit, which I couldn't believe. I had to actually read the email a couple of times and make sure that I wasn't misreading it. But um, yes, my scarf won best exhibit, and the um, judge was very complimentary. So <clears throat> that was a great surprise for me, and um, has really given me a boost in my confidence. So if you if there's any shows around you where you could enter your weaving sometime definitely do it because it's a, a really good thing and it's kind of you know it's given me a new burst of energy with weaving I'm thinking what can I weave next and it's really really good I'm really glad to have won very nice um, so what else have I been up to on the um, on my weaving lessons channel I wanted to go over what we've been doing over there I did a couple of videos on weaving drafts which is um, something that people can find very difficult how to read a weaving draft um, they can be they're usually for um, shaft looms there's some rigid heddle drafts but usually you don't need a draft if the written instructions is enough but definitely when you move up to uh, four shafts and above you need to start being able to read pattern drafts and it's not all that hard it's not as daunting as it seems at first so a couple of videos there on how to do that uh, I also have a new video over on the weaving lessons channel on how to weave little cats and I just this afternoon finished up one on repairing broken warp threads which is something really handy to know so that will be um, over there as well and on this channel um, I have a new video on weaving little houses that one's been quite popular um, some people have mentioned here and there uh, they don't like it so much when I do videos that aren't related to rigid head or weaving which I found interesting um, I value all the feedback that you can give me whether it's positive or negative because it helps me to make better, better videos but um, I feel like there is such a great diversity in weaving and I personally am intrigued by all kinds of weaving whether it's on a loom or off a loom and I like to explore all different types of weaving and I'm sure that there are plenty of other people like me they might start out weaving on a rigid head or loom like I did and like many other people do and they move into all other forms of weaving well I'm still doing the rigid head or weaving but um, I've, I've started diversifying into other types of weaving as well and I like to think that there's room on this channel and my other channel to accommodate that um, for all different interest groups. I know that most of 
people, most of my subscribers are rigid heddle weavers, but plenty of us also have floor looms, inkle looms, and do other types of weaving as well. And so this is really about exploring and sharing information together and enjoying the passion of weaving in general. Um, now during the week, I finally made time to set up my inkle loom and to start weaving on that. Uh, I've actually had this for a couple of months and I really hadn't had time to even look at it properly. Um, but I set aside a bit of time the other night and I warped it up and I've started weaving a band there. So um, that's going very well and I'm pretty pleased with the results. It's a lovely little loom to weave on and uh, I'm sure that in future I'll be having a few lessons on inkle weaving as well. In other news, I have closed my Etsy shop for the first time in about eight years, um, and that is to reassess and perhaps redesign my shop, renovate a little bit. Um, I sort of want to take my weaving to a new level, and it's I feel that my weaving is coming to a new level and I just sort of wanted to clear the shop and start with a clean palette um, offering exclusive hand woven items of all types. Um, I do have a lot of ideas for what I'd like to have in there um, but yeah stay tuned for that. I will be reopening my shop but I'm not sure when. On the 23rd of September, I'm going to be involved in a showcase with the Bluebirds Boutique and um, the showcase theme is Eat, Live, Love and so I have a few items in that showcase and that should be a good one. So thank you very much for joining me today and for listening to me ramble on. <laughs> Uh, I hope it's been enjoyable for you and I hope you got time to have a cuppa as well and uh, I'll see you next time.